What's up everyone, this is Hemorrhoid aka Deep Fryer, bringing you another Super Stream video. I hope you guys had a great weekend. We did have an announcement from GM Hasty that the game is going to be receiving an update uh, later today. Um, it looks like Kang Suki is going to be getting a new EX weapon. It seems to be a little bit more centered around offense, um, so that should be very interesting. And there has been a lot of discussion about what this new EX is going to mean for Kang Suki in the unofficial Superstream Discord, which I am a part of, and hopefully you guys are going to be a part of. There's going to be a link in the description below, so head on over there. We have an English translation in the news and updates section of the Discord that will kind of give you guys a heads up on what, kind, what, what the skills are going to look like for Suki's new EX. Uh, anyway, I was going to do my Abyss 39 video next because I do have that gameplay footage along with uh, Abyss 40. I have those filmed already, or I have them recorded. Uh, but one of my viewers, Fang Satanaka, shout out to you, Fang Satanaka, has uh, asked for some more raid content. So since I already had Min Jung Woo Raid 9 gameplay recorded, I completed it the day before I completed Suki Raid 9. I figured I would go ahead and release this video so maybe maybe it can help you guys a little bit with this raid. Now, I actually completed this raid on my very first try, the first time I ever attempted Min Jungle Raid 9, so I may not have quite as, as many in-depth strategies that were formulated over a period of, you know, having to try the raid several times, uh, so I, I do want to make sure you're aware of that. But I can tell you there are three main keys, or at least three main keys for the way I completed this raid. Those three keys are Katarina, Katarina, and Katarina. So I hope you guys have Katarina, because this footage is going to showcase just how strong Katarina is for Men Raid 9. So, let's jump in here. Let's jump into this footage and take a look at what we're doing for Min Raid 9. I'm, I'm bringing Hasty with the Shield EX, of course Katarina, uh, Sando, Cornelia, and Juan Sewell. I was kind of using this team to kind of be a bit of a baseline to kind of see what I needed to adjust, you know, over the course of trying to complete this raid. But I accidentally completed the raid the first try. So, let's look and see how I did that. Of course, as you well know, um, we got to do the Sando dance. Here comes Sando, cleaning up the board, getting rid of these enemies, and this guy here was itching for Katarina to give him a little bit of attention. Now, these first two waves are, of course, rather easy. Things get a little bit more interesting starting on wave three. Now, just so you guys know, I did build Katarina for speed, since she has that increased turn meter move on skill 3, I built Katarina for speed, and that's actually going to come into play the next way, so you're going to see what I mean in a moment. Now, I don't recall exactly what Katarina's speed is with the gear I have on her currently, but I will put it up on the screen for you guys so that you have an idea what kind of speed that you would need to be able to do something similar to what I am about to do starting in Wave 3. I'll just go ahead and tell you, Katarina outspeeds Min Jung Woo's drones. And that is really, really awesome because you're going to be able to shut down those drones' ability to start off the wave by giving you problems. Now I also want to show you another little trick here just in case you guys didn't know. If you look down at the bottom of the screen, it shows me that right after Katarina goes, there is a drone with the red outline, which means this drone uh, with the red outline means that this unit is on the enemy team, and the fact that it is next means the drone is going to go next. Now, if you guys did not know, you can click or tap, if you're on a mobile device, you can click or tap on the, the image, the photo of that drone in the bottom of your screen, and if you look up here, 
do you see the red arrow pointing down at that drone? That lets you click on the unit's picture in the bottom of the screen and it will show you where that unit is in the battlefield. So you don't have to guess which drone it is that's about to take a turn. You can click or tap on the bottom and then follow the arrow. So because I did that, I knew that that drone was about to take a turn. And since Katarina is, was out speeding that drone, I went ahead and killed that drone first. Fantastic strategy for keeping those drones from giving you major problems. Now I'm about to shield. I put the two turn shield on Katarina because she's crucial for this raid. And now Wansul and Sando are going to kind of duel back and forth with their ultimates. This raid of men, I used Wansul's skill 2 and Sando's ultimate, because Sando's ultimate is not quite as strong as Wansul's ultimate without debuffs, and he cannot debuff the boss. So I, uh, for the, the first Ninja Wu wave, I used Wansul's skill 2, Sando's ultimate. Now once again, Katarina is outspeeding these drones. I identified which drone was going next and killed that drone. Now I took out the attack drone with Cornelia so that it couldn't wreak havoc on my team, and then I took out the healing drone. Now one soon, it is time to bring out his ultimate. That Savage 2 damage is just absolutely devastating to bosses because it does 35% of their hit points in one stroke. Now that is capped out at 500% damage, but it is still very devastating for these raid bosses, for bosses in campaign, any kind of boss, Abyss bosses as well. So now, we're about to enter the final wave of Min Jung Woo Raid 9, and you're about to see Katarina shine like you've probably not seen a unit shine for one specific raid before. So let's take a look. I thought about going for the drone that was about to take a turn, but I didn't want to waste any time. I went ahead and decided to go with the Damage Reflect, and the Damage Reflect skill is also the Increased Turn Meter skill. So Sando was actually able to go next and take out that drone that was about to, I believe, the uh, specialist drone stuns. But anyway, I decided to use Hasty's unit type advantage over Min Jung Woo instead of killing that last drone. I decided to go ahead and attack Min Jung Woo with Hasty because she had that unit type advantage. And now, here comes Min Jung Woo and his attacks. He goes for Sando, removes her shield. And Hasty does a little bit more damage. Wansu attacks him. Now watch this. Min Jung Woo does his AoE attack, but did you see his hit point bar? How fast it went down. Let's watch that again and watch Min Jung Woo's hit point bar up top. Looky there. Look how far that hit point bar goes down. About a third of his hit points. And then he goes again with another AoE attack. And the other third of his hit points, by the time you add in Hasty's attack there, look, he is basically dead. And we can use Katarina's AoE attack to kind of finish him off. She takes out a couple drones at the same time. Uh, Wansu is stunned, but guess what? We've got Cornelia. We're going to cleanse and remove that stun from Wansu. And I'm sure you know where this is headed. Katarina gets the final blow, as well she should. But, Mr. Korean Zombie, Wansul, takes the MVP again. I tell you, if you don't have Wansul built, you're gonna need him, okay? So just build him, skill him, get his EX if you can. He does so well in basically every game mode. Now I think, uh, I think I do a little bit of the spring roulette at the end of this video just to kind of show you guys the spring roulette event. If you didn't know, there is a spring roulette event going on. Basically just about any activity you do in the game, using your orbital strikes, doing your abyss stages, or actually, I think it's claiming your Abyss reward. But anyway, just about any activity you do in the game right now, skirmish, PvP, you get these event tickets. And you can uh, spin the wheel on the roulette for 10 tickets. So be sure you're doing that every day. You're going to get a lot of credits. 
and a lot of plasma. Not so much of the better prizes like the SS tickets, the nanos, the Titan, the EX boxes, but now I have gotten a couple of each of those as well, you know, throughout the course of this event. But unfortunately, I did not get anything, if I remember correctly, I did not get anything terribly good spending these 100 tickets for you guys. Uh, but I do have one more thing to show you at the end of this video. I believe I ended up pulling an SS ticket for you guys as well. Since the roulette was a little lackluster and not very entertaining, since we didn't get anything good, I decided to go ahead and open this SS ticket for you guys. So let's see. Hey, my arm. There we go. We got the boss killer. Hey, my arm. I have not built him yet because I don't have his EX. But as you can see right there, I now have him for Awakened. Four times awakened. So if I were to manage to pull his EX, I will definitely be building him. One of uh, the members of uh, the alliance that I'm a part of has told me that this man right here hits about as hard as Kira versus bosses when you when you build them up, you know, very well for strong DPS. So anyway, that's something to think about. But anyway. We're going to call this one done. I'm going to let you guys get back to your day. Uh, happy Monday. I hope you enjoy the new update. Uh, we'll have to check out Suki's new EX and see how good it is. I suspect that it's going to be really good for content like Abyss and Raid because Suki is going to have Savage Damage 1 on her skill 3. So it, it does 25% of, uh, of a unit's health. It's not Savage 2, so it's not 35%, like Wansul, uh, Mamiya, Wanhayo. But anyway, I still think it's going to be very strong versus bosses, and she also has some retribution damage that could likely make her one of the top tier tanks for PvP. But that is still yet to be seen. We've been talking about it and doing a little bit of speculation in that unofficial Discord. I have a link in the description below. So come join the Super String unofficial Discord, hang out with us, there's a lot of friendly people there, we love to talk, and we love to help you guys as players with any kind of problems you may have with game mechanics, strategies, or any advice that you may need. But anyway, that's where I'm going to end it, so until next time, I will talk to you soon. This is Hemroid, out!